What's up guys? It has just turned 11 o'clock. It is a Sunday lunchtime hour and I am starting my shift in Nerima. Nerima is a city a little bit outside of uh, Ikebukuro towards the suburbs but it's a pretty big uh, area. And the reason why I chose the suburb to work around the suburbs today is because in Tokyo they have the Tokyo Marathon. It's a very big uh, marathon. And to participate, if you're like a regular runner, you have to win the lottery to participate. So there's like a draw in order to participate. Yeah, and there's uh, famous runners that participate in the marathon also. Like the, I think Kipchoge, one of the fastest runners, marathon runners in the world. So it's a big event and they have a lot of the roads closed down for the marathon because there are a lot, a lot of people participating. So, yeah, I think the prices around Tokyo, if you know the roads really well and you can get around the roadblocks, I think you could get really, really good money today, but not for me. So, working around in the suburbs. Get the first pickup is a ghost kitchen. Okay, got the first pickup. It was a self serve system. They just have it on the shelf already nice so what this first store mochi genmai tastes chicken so it is a genmai is one of those rices where it's the outer shell isn't shaved and so it's not like white rice it's a little bit brownish with a low fat chicken so it's probably some kind of a healthy Lunch bento. So they got a aimori chicken to genmai no bento. So they got a chicken and genmai bento. What is genmai in English? I gotta look it up. Brown rice. Oh, so it's just called brown rice or unpolished rice. So it's a lot. It's a little bit healthier, and there's more fibers in it. So got this picked up. Let's get the next one. Which is Kentucky Fried Chicken, Nerima Ekimaite. Okay, I know where this is. Let's go pick this up. So this order was 2,099 yen for 45 minutes, 10.6 kilometers. We're almost at Kentucky Fried Chicken. We're in front of Nerima Station right now. Okay, got the pickup, waited around four or five minutes. Let's get this delivered. So no drinks in this order. Um, see what they ordered is a seven garlic pepper chicken and one boneless chicken and one crispy strip. The first drop, we're dropping the bento first, I think. The chicken bento. Oh no. We're dropping the Kentucky Fried Chicken first. And it is eight, mili eight minutes and 2.5 kilometers. Let's get this delivered. Okay, we're at the first customer. Got the Kentucky Fried Chicken safely delivered and let's get the second drop which will be 22 minutes and 7.4 kilometers if it all goes well we'll be there by 11.41 and this one is uh, leave at door
Okay, arrived at the second customer. Drop instructions were to leave it door and ring the doorbell. So I usually don't ring the doorbell. So I had a question. Uh, when I take the photos, there's times that I take the photos and when I don't take the photos when it's leave it door. So most of the apartments in Tokyo have the security system where you have to call the resident from the entrance and have them open the door, the entrance door like this. So the customer knows that I'm coming into the building. So if that's the case, I don't take a photo since they probably know that I'm just going to be there in a couple seconds, right? And then if it's like an apartment where there is no intercom or the security system, I leave a photo just in case, um, yeah, there's trouble of uh, the item being stolen or not there or I mistakenly place the item at a different apartment because uh, that that might be most of the reason that I take the photos I don't take the photos is because I'm pretty sure that that's going to be the customer because I contact them and I have the right apartment and I have the right room number so I'm going to leave it at the same uh, the right location right and I'm I'm pretty sure the item is not going to get stolen in Japan so if I'm at a different resident where if I'm dropping off the item at a apartment where there is no security and I don't contact the customer before the drop I just take the photo just to make sure the customer knows where I dropped it you know so if it's like a wrong apartment the customer will see the picture and know that it, it was dropped at a wrong apartment so that's probably the main reason that I take the photo when I don't contact the resident anyways had the drop finished um, cut the time about seven minutes it is currently 1140 right now and that was a 2,000 yen order so it's a pretty good pay we're out in the suburbs and there is no red marks the busy marks on the app maybe we'll have to change the area uh, this is uh, Ogikubo I think oh Asagai Asagai is kind of busy but I never trust these uh, busy marks because yeah they don't really mean much because when I move to that area sometimes I don't get that it's not like it's always busy at that area you know it's not like 100% guarantee that you're gonna get a request there so yeah also gonna do a bike check sometime in the near future some of you are asking me to introduce the bike that I use for the deliveries we'll do that in a different episode just that alone man stop the request stopped coming in we're not that remote maybe where should I go where is the closest hot area Ogikubo station that's a pretty busy area maybe we should go there okay let's change location Okay, got another request for 1,842 yen, which will take 30 minutes and 4.6 kilometers. The first pickup is to the Herbs. It's an Italian restaurant. It's at Ogikube Station. And another one is Dotor Kohi Shop. So we're going to pick up coffee afterwards. Let's see. But I think to the Herbs is in a big commercial building, so might be a little hassle to pick it up. Go pick it up. We're at Ogikubo Station, but Lumine is on the other side of the railways, so we're gonna have to do a little bit walking. We're at Lumine. I think there's gonna be a dining floor. Have to check. So the To the herbs is uh, on the fifth floor, so if we can find an elevator, I think the elevator is going to be a little bit faster than the escalator. 
arrived at the fifth floor, the dining floor. The pit, not the to the herbs, but the other Italian restaurant on this floor. It's really good. Since Ogikubo is uh, near Nakano, I come around here uh, pretty often. Uh, to the herbs is really good too. It's more casual. Low price, good cost performance. お疲れ様です。バイツです。えー、9289A。9289A ですね。はい。So they're just packaging it, so... Right on time. So this delivery is going to Koenji, so... It's not too far from Ogikubo. Do the Dotor pickup. Got this order at 11.46, so I should be done by... 12.16 and it's a delivery to the same person はいお疲れしますパッケージの2つは私たちのアップエスカレーターを取ってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもらってもThere's a Dotor coffee shop. I think this is. Nope, this is not it. Oh,、uh, there's another one. Oh. Too many Dotors. Here's a Dotor that I'm supposed to pick up at. ただいすばいつです。二二九七五です。お疲れします。ナイスピックドアップ。should have brought my bike around or should have brought my thermal bag。but now we have to walk all the way to the other side of the station。politicians。Crazy. Finally got to the other side. Now I just need to deliver this.、Uh, they ordered an iced tea. Oh, so this is iced tea. And they ordered a pepperoncino, spinach pepperoncino. Gotta get this to my bag before it gets cold. Okay, the pickup is complete and it is 15 minutes to the customer's location, so we may be. Five minutes late. Four minutes late. The bus just cut me off super wild. Going past Asagaya Station right now, and we're almost at Ogikubo. Two kilom-、uh, not Ogikubo, Koenji. We just left Ogikubo Station, heading to Koenji. But、uh, so, I could have done so much better on the last pickup, and I know my way around. Ogikubo area too, so that's what makes me so frustrating. If I just would have t o o k the time to plan out my pickup, maybe took one minute, I could have saved three or four minutes. Dang. Okay, we're at the customer's location and I've managed to cut the time so by five or so minutes, so on time for the customer. This one is at a Mire door, so. 
Okay, safely delivered. So we're back in Koenji, it's a city next to Nakano. So we came a little bit closer to the city area. 12, 18. Yeah, that's, we should be able to get some more orders. Okay, so it is currently 12, 40 and I got another order for 2,128 yen 36 minutes 6.2 kilometers which is going to Minami Nagasaki and I'm currently in Koenji doing a pickup at Kentucky Fried Chicken and another one at a soba store that I think I've never picked up at well, so let's go pick this up so I've picked up at this Kentucky Fried Chicken before but it's been a while I think the last time I picked up from this Kentucky Fried Chicken is when I was uh, delivering on my bicycle so I think I'm, it's the first time I'm picking up um, after I started on my moped Let's go pick this up I don't remember if they had a pickup thing or not Okay, the pickup was smooth. Yeah, the Kentucky Fried Chicken. Um, yeah, I've been. Seems like I'm doing a lot of Kentucky Fried Chicken pickups today. But the other Kentucky Fried Chicken I did earlier made me wait for four or five minutes, and that was kind of unusual since Kentucky Fried Chicken usually has their food ready. Okay, where is the soba store? The soba store is on the other side. Okay, I gotta make a U-turn. This <laughs> is what says. BF eighty three three. Okay, we're dropping the Kentucky Fried Chicken first, which is the family burger pack and cash on delivery and it is a delivery to Nakano and it is going to take 13 minutes and 3.3 kilometers and the soba order is two cold sobas and one katsudon, a uh, pork cutlet rice bowl. Let's get this delivered. Okay, we're at the first customer's location. Let's get this delivered. Okay, got this delivered. You know how I said that I've picked, it's been a long time since I picked up the Kentucky Fried Chicken? And then this house that I delivered to, um, I've delivered before when I was on my bicycle days so it's kind of weird but it was a uh, collect cash on delivery and the lady said keep the change so super cool okay the next drop we're going to Minami Nagasaki it's a location between Ikebukuro and Nakano and it is going to be 10 minutes and 2.7 kilometers be finished by uh, 10 after 1 let's get this delivered Okay, arrived at the second customer's location. Bonjour. Ah, Uber Eats no haitatsui desu ga. Hai. Ah, ima tochaku shita desu ga. Ah, ito interphone narashite mo ratte. Okay, got it delivered. Told me to ring the doorbell, but yeah, I rang the doorbell. What up, you know? Okay, while I was doing the delivery, I got another order. 
which is uh, 1,574 yen for 28 minutes, 7.4 kilometers. Has a little bit of distance, but single order, uh, good pay. 3,000 yen per hour mark. And it is a, what is it? Luxurious hour. Zeitaku jikan. Otona no gohobi sweets. Uh, it's a sweet store. It's not a sweet store. Uh, it's a, what do you call it? Gato shokora. Uh, chocolate cake. Fondant shokora. Oh. Whatever, how, however you say it in English, I'll just put the titles in the screen. Well, let's go pick this up. We're picking up desserts. And this, the title of the restaurant indicates that it is a ghost kitchen. And yeah, the actual place is a izakaya, like a drinking place. And they also have it set up like a co-working space right now. Like a um, yeah, rental workspace. I've been there. I've picked up there many times. So let's go pick this up. Maybe it's not like a working space, but it's a space for all like the the tech guys the, to do like the to manage the stores on Uber Eats or and all the other delivery apps like Walt and Menu and Demicon. Nobody was there today. They're usually there on the weekdays. Man, okay, got this picked up. If you take a single order, Uber throws you mad requests afterwards for like 100 or 200 yen and it just, just doesn't stop, you know? They don't want you to do a single delivery. If there's any other orders that's going to overlap in any way, Uber wants you to do it for like super cheap, like dollar or two, 100 yen, 200 yen, you know? Stopping at a restaurant and dropping it at a customer you know there's like a minimum price for doing that right uber should understand that okay let's get this delivered it is going to be 24 minutes and 9.4 kilometers so a little more than uber's estimate but it's okay still a good deal let's get this delivered Steep hill. My moped is screaming. Okay guys, safely delivered the dessert and it is currently 1.43 and I think I'm going to call it quits for the video but I still have 6 more hours of uh, available time to, online for Uber so I'm going to work a little bit more it is going to be the slow hours from now I am out in nowhere right now so I got to find my way back into the city somehow but yeah, it's not the busy hour so it's okay, I'm not wasting that much time or valuable time in that fact in that matter okay see you guys in the next episode i hope you guys enjoy this one don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe and see you in the next episode ride safe